Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. It has been a while since I have made a mod, but here we are today with my biggest mod yet, the Deep Sea mod. So in this ender chest right here, I have all the things that I added. Um, so I'm going to start off by showing off all the things that are Mars related. So this update or mod was created completely out of Minecraft update suggestions. And so this one, the Mars Plains, was created uh, as a end biome, but with how it was laid out at first, I had assumed that it was actually an underwater biome, so that's why I added it in the deep sea update. So we have two new blocks with this biome, Mars Dirt and Mars Gla Grass, and we have the Ramaru Humphead Fish. So it's a pretty large fish, it was intended originally to be able to attack the player, but I didn't really want to make the fish like that, I kind of liked how it was, being a peaceful mob, but if you kill it, you get a hump fin. Uh, it does. It has no purpose, but later on, I think I might add a purpose to it. Um, and so that is all we have for the Mars Plains. We have dirt, uh, Mars dirt blocks, and then the stone for this biome is smooth basalt. Anyways. Now we are going to move on. We have the isopods. I have no idea if I'm saying that right. Uh, these creatures are weird. I think that they're insects. I'm not completely sure. Uh, but they were originally made to be able to go in buckets, but with the mod creator that I was using, I was not able to put them in buckets. Anyways, so the main goal for this mod was to add things that would encourage the player to go deeper into the waters and explore more. So to do that, I had added some peaceful mobs, but then I had also added some mobs that were dangerous. So we have the shark, drowned brutes, the lurk, and the nox deer, and the subturt. I'm really quickly just going to turn my game mode survival. Okay. So, the shark is probably one of my favorite mobs that were added in this update, or mod. Don't know why I keep on calling it an update. Uh, I think the reason why it's definitely my favorite was because... I have been wanting sharks to be added into Minecraft for a very long time now. So normally these sharks will attack you, but for some reason they aren't attacking me right now. Anyways, the next mob we have is the Drowned Brute. This was probably one of the hardest mobs to make for this update. The reason why is because it looks very weird. There's still some improvement for it, but so far I think I really like this mob. Especially how it has like an anchor. It's really cool. And the next one this mob didn't have a name once I had found it. So I randomly just decided to call it the Lurk. 
it's supposed to be an underwater boss. And then the next one, the Noxier, is another underwater boss. This one has a lot of health points. So once you kill it, um, it drops really good loot. Um, that one seems to be a baby one. Okay, that's a normal sized one, an adult. And then the final one is the sub turt. This one is found in the depths of warm oceans, and I really like how the sub turt looks. Alright. Glow soil icebergs. So these grow at the bottom of icebergs. And glow jellyfish spawn here. So I think that this biome is really cool because just how it's glowing and all and how it grows at the bottom of an iceberg. But the thing about it is that you can easily get lost in it. Anyways, moving on. We have our two last mobs. We have the jellyfish. And the leatherback turtle. That is all for today's video. I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. And also, if you were wanting to get this mod, you can get the mod because it is now on Planet Minecraft. So make sure to go to Planet Minecraft and search up Deep Sea Mod. Thank you for watching.